Welcome to Ute Insider. I'm Mike Lagerschildt. As the interim head coach for the Utah women's basketball team this past season, Anthony Leverett led the use of the Mountain West Conference Tournament Championship and the NCAAs. As a result, the interim tag has been removed, and Anthony now the fourth head coach in Utah women's basketball history. Anthony, what a whirlwind as you took over as the interim guy about a year ago, and then this year with all the things that happened during the season. Has it sunk in yet? What's happened to you? Haven't had really had a chance. Uh, you know, you kind of hit the ground running, and you know we're in the middle of our season. Uh, as far as getting ourselves back in the gym and ready to go. Uh, it's not like we've moved into town and start <laughs> something fresh. So it feels like something new, but yet we've been going for the full year. So it's just kind of in the middle of what we've been doing. Well, Lane Elliott stepping down uh, this year for a leave of absence. You worked with her for three years as an assistant now, taking over permanently. I know you had a lot of your elements already in place in the program, but now you're taking over. One, what do you do to continue that great tradition she built here? And two, do you change anything now that you're the head guy permanently? You know, the first thing and, and most important for any program is to recruit. We, we have to recruit quality student athletes that can play, uh, they can put the ball in the basket and they can defend. So, you know, that's going to have to continue to be the staple of what we do. Uh, we're going to play the way our team uh, fits. We're not going to try and change things just for the sake of change. Uh, Elaine was a motion, like four-man motion uh, background. Mine's been more five-man motion, but very similar principles. Uh, we feel like we would like to run a little bit more, not because of how, um, you know, any thought process that I have, but I think it fits our team a little bit. And then playing at, you know, elevation with everybody coming from sea level. It's something that we would like to have as part of our program. Let's talk about your run through the postseason. A great run as you won four games in five days at the Mountain West Championship. You start out against UNLV, a team you lost that previous week and on the road. Then you also took Air Force, a close game for the half. You won that one. That got your run started. Just talk about those two games and building your team's confidence to win the championship eventually down there. Yeah, it, well, every game in this league is a, has been a tough game. You know, there's no nights off. Air Force has really improved. UNLV has good athletes. We, we just were fortunate to make enough plays, and then we got to playing with some confidence. And the thing that we never stopped doing, we never stopped defending. Even through all of the struggles that we had early in the year, we were very good defensively. We guarded every single night. And ultimately, we were playing with 11 freshmen and sophomores. <laughs> a senior transfer who had been with us for about five months total. That's what we had her for was five months. Yeah. And then a junior point guard. And offensively, it just took us a while. And finally, by the end of the year, we made a few more shots. But we continued to defend, and I think we held opponents to about 30% uh, from the floor and 22% from the three-point line during the tournament and made just enough plays to, to win that thing. Let's talk about the last two games. You got BYU, your rival, uh, the regular season champion, that semifinal game, uh, as you would expect, a very physical game, but yet you guys won that one. Just talk about being the Cougars after losing, what, four in a row to them before that victory. Yeah, it had been tough because we'd beat them four straight times, and then they'd, my first two years here as an assistant, and then they'd beat us four straight times. Uh, it, it was a great feeling. You know, we, we played well enough to win, and then we got a little lucky at the end. Uh, there was some, you know, that last nine seconds of that <laughs> game were just wild. Uh, mistake on my part. I thought we had the ball on the sideline. It was actually underneath out of bounds. We come out of the timeout, and it was just a scramble for the last nine seconds. Our kids battled through it and played through it, and then we got a nice lucky bounce, and then we have a player good enough, and Michelle Plouffe, who, who made that clutch basket at the end to win the game. Then TCU in the championship game, both teams playing for a berth, otherwise you're probably out. Uh, TCU, very good team as well, athletic, and yet uh, another good battle. Talk about what got you the win over the Horned Frogs. Well, it was a much different game than the BYU game simply because TCU played us mostly zone. It was, it was good for us and it was bad for us. You know, in the first <laughs> half we made a bunch of shots, and in the second half, we didn't shoot the ball as well, but it allowed us to play at a slower pace. And four games in five days, been on the road for nine days after having played UNLV the last conference game, it was nice for us to be able to play at a slower pace, and that zone allowed us to walk into stuff. And we guarded, we really guarded in that game, did an unbelievable job defensively. And then down the stretch, uh, you know, I think we scored 12 points in the second half. <laughs> and then we scored 10 points in overtime, in, in five minute overtime to win the game. And our kids just made plays. Well, after that great run, you had to come back and then refocus on the NCAAs. That was the prize at the end of your great run. The good news is you were playing at home. You had the bid, the, the host first, second round games here. You played Notre Dame as tough as anyone in this tournament this year. Just talk about the excitement, what that we did for your program to have a tournament game here in Salt Lake City. Well, first of all, the, the, just to be able to play in the, you know, the NCAA tournament is special. To be able to host it is, is tremendous. To be able to play in front of your home fans. Yeah, obviously home court advantage and being on your home court is nice, but to have the fans and the crowd that came out to support us, it, it was amazing. We would love to see that on a night in, night out here as we, as we go forward. 
Uh, Notre Dame is a very good basketball team, and I, and I felt like we did a really nice job for them for most of the game, but they're very talented. Uh, we didn't get enough stops in the thing that we had done so well of defending people. They came in here and scored 67, I think, in our home building, and not very many people have done that. Uh, they're a very talented team, and you can see they're, they're playing for a championship tomorrow night. Yeah, as a two seed, they got the championship game, so a great run by the Irish through this tournament. The good news for you now is, yes, you're the head coach, but also a good nucleus coming back. You have four stars returning, plus Taryn Wachowski, the freshman of the year in, in 2010 who came back from a knee injury. A great uh, you know, foundation for your team. Just tell us about your, your outlook for next year. Well, I, even if Taryn doesn't come back, we feel like we can be a good basketball team. If she comes back and is healthy the way she was before, you know, she's a preseason first team all-conference freshman of the year, we feel like that makes us have a chance to be a very good basketball team. Uh, you know, you got to stay healthy. We didn't plan on losing Taryn this year, so you just never know what can happen. But we like our group. Everybody that uh, will be back except for one had played significant minutes. Uh, we have a, a, we'll have one senior only in the program. Uh, Janita Badam will be a senior point guard for us and will be our only senior. And, and the future is bright for this for this young group. Well, Anthony, an exciting time for Utah women's basketball, a postseason berth, and now off to the Pac-12 new conference, and you're the head coach. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's exciting to be here. All right, that's Anthony Leverett, the new head coach of the Utah women's basketball program. I'm Mike Liga, show for you, the insider. Thanks for joining us. So long, everybody.